the summary of HD 4420, an act modernizing firearms laws. It consolidates and reorganizes current firearms licensing sections in a single unified process with consistent standards and procedures for all firearms licensing, including license to sell, all fire, uh, excuse me, removes semi-automatic rifles or shotguns from a newly created long gun permit for 18 to 21 year olds while still preserving their right to own and possess rifles and shotguns. Funny, I didn't know that the Bill of Rights differentiated between types of weapons. It's amazing. Only allowed to have the right to keep a pump action or a bolt action or a slide action gun. They can't have anything semi-automatic, whether it be rifle or shotgun or pistol. Increases penalties for failure to report firearms loss or theft. And ironically, it's always punishing the, the law-abiding gun owner. It's never punishing the criminal. Like, So the guy who has a gun legally, and if somebody steals it and he doesn't notice, guess what? Increase penalties on you for failing to uh, report that in a timely manner. Um it moves dealer inspection responsibilities and oversight to the Massachusetts State Police to ensure uniformity of inspections, clarifies and standardizes rules on firearm transport and carry to comport with rec uh, constitutional requirements and allows carry on recreational vehicles. Hey, a win, a one little bone they throw us, which I don't know why we even took that away from us in the first place. Removes contradictory, confusing, duplicative, and unconstitutional language. Ooh, that's music to my ears. From definitions and references, non-resident and temporary licenses, defense spray, permits, and exemptions. Uh, then it talks about uh, Violence Protection Commission. They're going to impanel a whole new legislative com commission to examine the existing government funding structure for violence prevention services in the Commonwealth. So going to use taxpayer money to study where violence comes from, I guess. And I'm sure they're going to lay it at the feet of all uh, gun owners. Skipping down, it says assault-style firearms. Remember that term, assault-style firearms. And large-capacity magazines. Updates general laws to reflect Attorney General's opinion regarding lookalike assault weapons. Updates ah! definition with contemporary categorization tests and lists of firearms. Restricts use and transfer of pre-ban large capacity magazines. Firearms Control Advisory Board. Uh, so they're going to appoint, adds appointees from Attorney General. Speaker of the House, Senate President, House and State Minority Leaders. So that's, uh, oh, and Massachusetts State Police. So that's five new appointees, none of which are representatives from the gun community. Surprise, surprise. Uh, they don't want our input. Adds assault-style firearms roster and tasks board with conducting regular reviews. Requires EOPS to update uh, which is the Executive Office of Public Safety, uh, to update rosters for large-capacity firearms, large-capacity feeding devices, assault-style firearms, and firearms approved for sale and use in the Commonwealth at least three times a year. Right now, they're required to do it four times a year, but now they're going to knock it down to three times a year because that's too much for them. They're already only doing it about twice a year, so they're going to try and up their game, even though they're required to do it four times a year. Now they're going to do it three times a year, so making their job a little easier. Prohibited spaces. It'll prohibit all firearms possession on government administration buildings, polling locations, educational institutions, and get this, on all private property without the consent of the property owner. Can you say unconstitutional? I bet you can, boys and girls. And that's exactly where this is headed. 